I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R750 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on power supplies. Let's get going. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Today, I'm a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R750 server. Do us a favor, find anything that helps in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, this will be one of the quickest videos in our series. It's going to be covering power supplies, and really all we're going to do is throw up a nice little chart here that's going to show you the different options. There's eight in total, as low as 700 watt or all the way up to 2800 watt. There are two, and they are redundant hot swap. They're in the back. They're not actually together. Sometimes you'll see them on both on one side. They're actually on the outside, which is a little bit of a unique configuration. Um, and we're going to show you how to do an install, which is uh, incredibly simple because they are hot swap. And you can see this little button right here. Very simple. So we'll go ahead and uh, grab my ESD gear and we'll show you how to do the hot, uh, how to do the install right now. All right, have my ESD gear on. We are safe to work on our machine. So let's say that our power supply failed and we needed to replace it. So the first things first, you'll notice that this is a 1400 watt. So we have to make sure we have to 1400 watt, pretty simple. And this is gonna be a very simple install. You're just gonna come over here, just gonna line it all up nice and perfect. It is gonna be on the outside. And then you're just gonna slide this in. You'll even see this click into place. And when you try to pull it, it's physically in there. Now, if I wanted to remove this, we'll just push this in and pull this out. So that's how I would remove it. And you can slide it nice and easy. And again, when I push it in, you'll see that orange clip will click into place. And when I try to pull it, it is physically in there. So most important thing is just make sure that both power supplies are the exact same. And if you're using this at home and you don't have a 240 volt connection, then make sure that your power supply is not 240 volt only. Those are some of the main keys. Hey, if you made it this far, do us a favor, click that like and smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built 15th gen Dell or 16th gen for that matter, or something outside of Dell, we do HPE, we do Super Micro, we do a Zeus, Gigabyte, Azrock, plus a ton more. We'd love the opportunity to earn your data center, your home labs, your business. Please email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Take care. Thank you.